What's up guys, we're back with another vending service video, but I just want to say you guys are going to want to watch all the way to the end of the video. We're going to give you a sneak peek of our next new location. It's the top secret location that we can't really talk about, but we're going to talk about the machines at least. So make sure you guys watch all the way to the end of the video to see the sneak peek. All right, guys, it's time to go stock up more barbecue sprites. If you like these style of videos, make sure you leave them a like. Otherwise, enjoy the show. What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843, back with another vending collection video. We're back at the tire location, and it's time to go fill up some more barbecue sprites, if you know what I mean. Anyway guys, though, this video is a little bit different. This is a one week service. Typically this location is on about a two week cycle, but this video was filmed just before I had to travel to Ohio. So when I'm gonna be traveling, I like to you know get to all my locations prior to the trip, make sure everything's nice and stocked up so that way there's no inventory issues or things like that while I'm traveling because that's the worst feeling, right? When you're you know hundreds of miles away and you get a call from your location with a problem and there's nothing you can do. So I like to get to all my locations prior to traveling, make sure, make sure they're nice and full, make sure all the uh, everything's working, there's no issues, and then I can kind of rest easy when I'm traveling. So I technically didn't need to come to this location today. The money collection is going to be a little bit smaller. Um, we're going to fill up less items in the machine because again, it's only been one week since we've been here. So we're going to get everything topped off. We're going to collect the money. We're going to do all that stuff. So we've got lots to talk about today. You saw in the intro, um, at the end of the video, we're going to talk a little bit more about our new top secret location. Uh, it is a manufacturing facility. It's a very large uh, building with two separate break rooms. They've got lots of employees and they're gonna keep on growing and adding more employees. So our, our, our business there is gonna get more and more busy. And I really think that this location is gonna be a game changer for the vending business. So we're super excited to work with this location and uh, figure out a way to incorporate it into our channel and make some content from it because we cannot film at the location. Now, luckily, they did let us take a few pictures of our machines while we were there after we got them all stocked up because basically Mrs. Galaxy Games 843 and I worked all weekend long on this new location. You know, we went shopping. You may have seen that picture on our community tab. We'll put that up at the end of the video as well. Um, and also we got the machines in place. We had to unpack them. We got four full line vending machines from candymachines.com. We got some new Sega machines or Sega machines, however you want to pronounce it, uh, which is something that, you know, I know that company has always gotten a bad rap. But I talked to Kevin over at CandyMachines.com. He gave me his reassurance that they're good machines and they're going to be fully supported. So we have high hopes for those machines and this location. So again, watch all the way to the end of the video. We're going to share some pictures, talk a little bit more about it, but there's going to be more content on the way. So make sure you guys subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. All right, so we're getting our drinks section stocked up here in our combo vending machine. And we always start with the drinks because you know we like those drinks to have the maximum amount of time to get cold because nobody wants to buy a warm drink when they're, uh, you know, buying something from a vending machine. Now, luckily, like I said, this machine was only, you know, a little little more than half full or, or all the drinks had cold ones in the front. So technically, we could have started with the snacks first in this case, but it's just habit for me to start with the drink. So I'm always going to do that whenever I can. All right. What else do we want to talk about? So you guys know it's Wednesday which means it is live stream night. Join us tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, over on the Howard Hospitality Group YouTube channel. As you know, we do this every Wednesday night. It's our weekly vending business discussion live stream. Uh, it's going to be a good time. As always, we love talking about uh, vending businesses, claw machines, all that stuff involving all that stuff. Uh, we love to address comments and take questions and all that good stuff. So join us tonight, again, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific over on the Howard Hospitality Group YouTube channel. Now, if you cannot join us tonight, the, the replay will always be available on all major podcast platforms. Lately, I've been using Amazon Music, but I've also used iHeartRadio. I think there's Stitcher, Apple Music, all kinds of cool places. All you need to do is search for Vending Business Discussion and find all the posts from the Howard Hospitality Group. Uh, like I said, it's a great time. Um, it's really cool. To, I, I also like to listen to our replays on road trips and just kind of, 
you know, figure out what, what's working well, what's not working so well, how the audio sounds, all that good stuff on our, on our podcasts. So again, you can join us tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time live, or you can catch the replay on any major podcast platform. So it's very cool. All right. So let's talk more about 2024. So as you know, we lost the barbershop location and we still have one more video collecting from that machine after we got it back to the shop. But for the time being, that machine is at the new location. You'll see it in the pictures at the end of this video, because basically what had happened was, you know, as we were waiting for our new machines to be delivered from candymachines.com, this location wanted a machine on location ASAP. They wanted something there for their employees. So we put that machine, that combo vending machine there on location in one of the break rooms. So it's been set up and working for, uh, I think two or three weeks now. But while we were waiting for the, those machines to come in, you know, they came in and we finally got them installed. So now, right now, technically we've got five full line vending machines there, two drink machines, two snack machines, one combo machine. So it, it, there's a lot of machines there. So we're still working through a few issues, getting everything finalized, but the machines are in place, stocked up, ready to go. And like I said, we're going to talk more about that in future videos. Okay. So this combo machine, this is a Witcher and Futura 3589 combo vending machine. Great machine. This is just like the one we had at the barbershop, although the front graphics are a little bit different, obviously, but internally it's the same machine. Everything works the same, you know, works great. It's one of my favorite machines, super reliable, so many parts available. If you want to try one of these machines out, definitely do so. They're great machines. The only issue is, of course, you know, it's a combo machine. So the capacity is not as huge as a regular full line drink machine or a regular full line snack machine. So keep that in mind. But, you know, in a location like this where it's got a break room and there's, you know, employees coming and going and sometimes truck drivers coming and going, this machine works great for a location like this. So we'll take it. Um, like I said, getting everything stocked up. We got all the chips on the top row stocked up. We're stocking up cheese doodles now. Then we'll move down to the candy row. And I don't think we have much to stock up in the candy row. Again, this is only a one week service collection, so it's not too bad. I think we got some Snickers maybe to stock up. Most things haven't really sold here um, in the candy row this week. A couple of uh, Butterfingers and whatnot. But remember, it is the slow season for vending. So many of you out there may be experiencing that as well. It's slow season right now. After the holidays, January, February can be slow months in vending. And that's the time where I usually like to go out and find new locations, upgrade locations, different things like that. So that's what we've done. All right, we've got everything stocked up. It's time to collect the money. Now remember, this is just a one week collection. We did not need to come to this location, but since we were, we were gonna be traveling, I decided it was time to come Stock up the machine, collect the money, make sure everything was good to go. So let's see how much cash is there in the dollar bill acceptor. So you saw there were a few coins and of course there's multiple credit card transactions. So there's all the cash. Again, this is a one week service collection. Total amount collected was $89.75. So there we go, a few $5 bills in there. We'll put it in the money bag and then we'll start locking the machine up. So again, we're almost to the end of the video, guys. Make sure you stick around because we're going to talk more about that new top secret location. Also, don't forget to join us tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific over on the Howard Hospitality Group YouTube channel for our weekly vending business discussion live stream. Join myself, Jonathan from Howard Hospitality Group, David from Extreme Vending, and who knows who else might join because we've got open invitations to some of the other YouTube channels out there. So you never know who's going to join. All right, so here what I'm doing now, I'm actually topping off the coin mech with some dollar coins. I do like putting dollar coins in some of my machines that have the capacity to handle those because if, if somebody puts a $5 bill in the machine, I'd rather have them get some, some dollar coins back than you know completely clear out my uh, quarter tubes. So that's why I've been trying to put dollar coins in the machines as well. But there we go, we got that all taken care of. It's time to lock the machine up. You know, I always have to make sure those wires over there aren't getting pinched or crimped there in the door because we don't want to damage any wires. So there we go, got that closed, got it locked. We're gonna make sure our work area is all cleaned up and then we'll be making our way back out to the vending truck. So guys, wanna remind you too, if you, if you like these style of videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up. It really does help us out with the YouTube algorithm, helps the channel grow and helps other users find our YouTube channel. So help us out with that. With that said, we're making our way out to the vending truck. It's time to wrap this video up, guys. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Let's talk about the brand new secret location for just a minute. 
So if you didn't know, myself and Mrs. Galaxy Games 843 have been working on this new location this past weekend. We spent all weekend long shopping for inventory, unpacking the machines, getting the machines in place, filling up the machines, programming the machines, and it's time to see how well this location is going to do. So I can't really talk about the location. It's a large manufacturing facility. They've got two break rooms. In each break room, we've got two machines. Uh, and we'll get into some more of the details later in an actual video about this location without, of course, spilling the info about the location, but talking more about our machines, of course. But anyway, so we've got two break rooms. One break room has a snack machine and a drink machine, both from candymachines.com. The other break room has our combo machine and a snack machine, uh, which is also the, the snack machines from candymachines.com. And we couldn't fit the drink machine in there, so it's actually out on the shop floor for the time being until they make some modifications to their break room. So right now we've actually got five total vending machines here at this location. So again, they let us take some pictures of our machines. We're gonna put the pictures up on the screen as we're talking about them. But um, I kind of plan on incorporating this into the into the channel by really uh, the stuff leading up to it. And then uh, after we you know service the machine to collect the money, coming back and talking about how the machines did. So it's gonna be a little bit different than what we normally do in our videos here on this channel. But uh, because we can't film or take pictures at the location, I hope you guys understand. But we're still gonna make content out of it, so it's gonna be great. So guys, if you wanna see more or learn more about this brand new location, guys, it's gonna be huge, I'm telling you right now. Two break rooms, lots of employees, and they're, con they're, they're gonna keep growing, so we should do very well at this location. But if you wanna follow along with our success, see how it goes for us, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. All right, with that said, it is time to wrap this video up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to join us tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, over on the Howard Hospitality Group YouTube channel for our weekly vending business discussion live stream. And with that said, we're gonna wrap this video up right here. So once again, guys, this is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.